สวัสดีครับ I'm Point from k o n p o p Throughout the course of these videos, these discussions that we've had, where we talk about self-awareness, mindfulness, meditation, uh, self-reflection, contemplation, psychology, psychological self-insights, wisdom, um, and self-empowerment, the psychology of self-empowerment. Really, in one sense, we could say that what this all boils down to is the process or the practice by which we learn to become at peace. At peace, sorry, we become at peace with whatever is. True empowerment, you see, lies in the ability to be at peace and non-reactive to whatever. Is happening right now. Whatever is the case, that reality manifests itself right now. This is not to say to not take action, but to be at peace means to know that you don't need to react, but that you can respond. You don't need to make a bad situation or a difficult situation or a challenging situation. Worse, by the way in which you think about it, and that is actually a skill to develop, and this skill comes through practice, not through intellectualization, not through thinking about it. It is nice to think about it and understand on a conceptual level, but to truly embody it comes from practice. Would you say? Would you agree with me? So again, all these conversations, once again. It boils down, or what they point to, is they point to the practice or the cultivation of learning to be at peace with whatever is going on in reality right now. I know it may be easier said than done, but if we truly want to grow in life. If we really want to understand the nature of our experience and the nature of our suffering, if we really want to be in line with uh, deeper levels of truth in life, then we cannot escape this conversation. We cannot escape this kind of practice. We cannot escape learning to develop ourselves to the point where we are no longer reactive to what somebody else says. To our own emotions, to our fears and anxieties, we're no longer reactive to those things. We can see them with a more uh, clear sense of perception. In other words, we learn to perceive reality more clearly. We learn to perceive uh, and be more closely in tune and in line. With reality, so it could also be said, in other words, that one of the secrets to life is to realize that actually all our experiences are created from within, literally within, within our bag of meat, within our bag of skin, between our ears, in other words, in our skull, in our brains, in our neurology, in our body, in our mind. If you take that uh, perspective. They really happen from within, and the deeper and the more you come to realize this, the more empowered you become. The more you truly realize this, not intellectually, but through practice and through uh, the cultivation of self-awareness or mindfulness, and wisdom. The more you will come to. Be skillful in navigating your life, because you're no longer reacting in the same unhelpful ways that you used to. But you're taking action, and you're responding, in, and you're responding to uh, the situation or the challenge or the difficulty in an effective way. And you're doing just that. You're taking a effective. Uh, response that comes from a place of wisdom and understanding, rather than from a place of reactivity or a place of ego 
anger, hatred, vengeance, panic, fear, etc. And that is a skill that we can learn to develop. So the point is to learn to be at peace with what is. And to add on to the point that I just said just now about how the key is to realize that actually our experiences are created from within. What does that mean? You see, when you have an experience in life, if you have a bad experience, we could call that some form of suffering, right? That can come in the form of stress, anxiety, panic, fears, worries, doubts, insecurities, pain, physical pain, emotional pain, and the list goes on. But for the simplicity's sake, that's just we could call suffering. If you have a bad experience, you call it an experience of suffering. You are suffering. But you see, to be in line with reality means to actually take an honest look at what's really going on here. Take a deep and honest look at the nature of your experience. And you will quite quickly come to realize that actually your experiences are created from within by the way in which you think about the situation, by the way in which you perceive the situation, by the way in which you interpret the situation, by the way in which you process your experiences. So a very simple example. Let's say somebody wronged you in some way, shape, or form. Somebody betrayed you, or somebody uh, could be something as um, as simple as uh, betraying a trust. Maybe it was an ex-partner, an ex-boyfriend, an ex-girlfriend, or ex-wife, or ex-husband that cheated on you with somebody else. Maybe it could be a business partner that cheated you uh, financially, stole from you financially, or anything for that matter. And rightly so, we I understand that that was not a good day. That was not an easy day. I understand. And I'm not watering down that that fact. Okay. But what I am saying is, is if we're really being honest and taking a good look here, we will come to realize that there is no point to make a bad situation worse than it needs to be. And oftentimes, we make it worse by the way in which we react to it. And we only react to something when we come to believe through our interpretation that that person, that thing, that event, that situation is the cause of my suffering. Therefore, I am justified to react and to eliminate that threat, to seek revenge, to get back at them, and the list goes on. Because failure to realize this means that you're actually quite out of touch with reality as it is. And when you're reacting, you're going to cause more suffering for yourself and likely more suffering for other people around you. Then you might ask, what do you mean out of touch with reality? It's clearly the case that they cheated uh, on me, right? They stole money from me, right? They betrayed my trust. They betrayed my family. So what do you mean I'm out of touch with reality? You see, when you look outside of yourself and you give an external attribution to the cause of your experience, when you give an external reason to the cause of your so-called suffering, you are effectively, in one sense, rendering, rendering or leading yourself to become powerless because it very quickly leads you to feel that life happens to you. Life happens to you. You become a victim of life in some way, shape, or form. You become a victim of the situation in some way, shape, or form. See what I mean? But if you're really being honest here, you can train yourself to the point where even though you are in a very difficult situation, an act of betrayal, be, uh, being betrayed, right? Uh, very disturbing news of the loss of a loved one even. I understand. It's, it's, it's very difficult and I'm not watering down that situation. Or I'm, not, I'm not denying it or, push, or pushing it off or, or, or 
saying that it's insignificant. I'm not saying that at all. But what I am saying that is that if we're really looking at it honestly, then we will see that the experience is actually caused from within, through the way in which we think about it, interpret it, and process it. That has a major role to play in the creation of our experience. And the moment you realize that, you begin to allow yourself to take back power and control, because you begin to realize that there is no point to react to it more than that, more than what is necessary. And you begin to accept reality, and you cope with it, you tolerate it. But this does not mean to not take action. You can take action, and many times you should. You can respond, but you will respond effectively. You will, you will respond from a place of wisdom and understanding and compassion. Because you understand that actually, in one sense, or actually in the truest sense, suffering is self-created. Or as the quote goes, uh, life is 10% what happens to you, but 90% how you choose to respond. And I wanted to leave that as food for thought in today's video as a short video today. Again, the key to life is to learn to be at peace with whatever is going on. That does not mean to not take action. That does not mean to welcome somebody else to rob you, to steal from you, to cheat you, to wrong you. No. It means to understand that you don't need to make a situation worse by the way in which you react to it unnecessarily. And one who is able to understand that is one who we could say is beginning to learn how to master life skillfully. And that is coming, therefore, from a place of wisdom and understanding. Okay, I hope this short video was helpful and valuable for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. สวัสดีครับ